Hi Year 9, it's Miss Colin here and I'm going to talk to you about the GCSE Art course as part of your Year 9 Options Guidance. At Way Deacon we study the AQA, Art, Craft and Design course. So why should you study GCSE Art? Well, it is 100% practical. So if you like a subject that's a bit more hands-on, where you're producing work and there isn't a lot of written elements, then the GCSE Art course is for you. We are 60% coursework, which is completed in year 10 and at the beginning of year 11, and then 40% externally set task, which is completed in January of year 11. And again, that is still 100% practical. So you are producing your own work, developing your ideas and coming up with a final outcome. And it's still practical. You don't have to do a lot of writing on the art course. So if you enjoy being hands on, then this subject is for you. Our pupils that currently study the GCSE course say that they love that coming to their art lessons because it's enjoyable. A lot of them find it relaxing and a really lovely break from some of their more academic subjects. And they like that it's different and that they can be creative and express themselves. And they are also in classes with like-minded people. So everyone who is in your class has opted for the subject. Our grades that we have over the last 10 years show how successful our course is. I've put the figures on for the last three years. You can see that we have almost 100% pass rate at GCSE and for the last two years almost half of our pupils have achieved grades nine to seven. So you will be super successful at the art course if you give 100% effort and you try your very best. You will be studying a subject where your teachers are passionate and absolutely love their subject. In the art department, all of the staff are extremely experienced in the course and everything art related and they can pass that on to you. What will you learn in GCSE Art? Well, you will learn a whole range of different skills, but more importantly, you will learn to creatively problem solve. You will engage with sources and different artists from around the world. You'll learn to communicate your ideas, to develop your ideas and to refine and record your ideas. You will study lots of different art skills you'll study some sculpture that might be more abstract pieces or it might be more realistic we've had animal sculptures food sculptures all different kinds in the past you will study some painting and some drawing but again the drawing doesn't have to be observational drawing it might be more abstract or more expressive we've got lots of different work on the walls in the art department where you can see architecture animals people and you will also study some collage or mixed media, so you don't have to draw in every project. It might be cutting out, sticking, layering and using materials. So future pathways for art. You don't have to be an artist and to study and to have a career in art and design. The UK economy is absolutely booming with creative subjects. So the creative economy has 3.2 million jobs and it is, that takes up one in 11 UK jobs. If you look at the little map on the screen, the yellow section is the Northwest, and that shows that it's the second biggest industry, uh, for creative industries, second biggest in the UK, just after London. So there are loads of jobs in the Northwest if you don't want to go to London. There are lots of different creative careers. I'm not gonna go through them all now. We've got them on our art department Instagram, and your art teacher will go through them in your art lessons as well but you could be an architect, a games designer, jewellery designer, makeup artist, tattoo artist. There are so many different careers that you can go into. But if you don't want to study a creative career, it's still worth studying art as an option because there are so many transferable skills that businesses and employers are looking for now. So problem solving, being able to think creatively, your analytical skills, your communication skills, the ability to be resilient, to learn from criticism and be objective about your work, your openness to new influences and concepts, a cultural understanding and empathy are all skills that employers will be looking for that are transferable skills from creative graduates. So some questions to consider. Do you enjoy your art lessons? Do you complete your art homework on time and to the best of your ability? And do you work hard every lesson? If the answer to these questions is yes, then art will definitely be a subject for you. If you come in and you work hard every lesson, you will achieve and you will really love your art, your art lessons. So definitely worth thinking about those questions as I leave you now. 
your art teacher will go through a little bit more information with you in your art lessons and if you've got any questions you can definitely ask them.